Hi oh, YouTube, uh, it's Farron here. I've got a, um, my first update on uh, Panzermeister 36's uh, group build, which is uh, Fall of the Reich. And I've got a T3476 that I was working on last night. I've done a lot of work on it. I was up until God knows what hour, putting it all together. And um, so, got this fast. So, I've got all the wheels put together ready and all the wires which are going to go over here, but I'm thinking of curling this one up like so and have it draping over the back of the engine here somewhere, somewhere like that anyway. So there's the road wheels, idlers, etc, etc. And then I've got the uh, top hull done. As you can see, if it'll come, yeah, there it comes off. So, you see the breech is all in there, but I'm not going to be painting the inside. What's the point? You're not going to see it. And uh, I'll most likely um, fix this in place with some glue. I've uh, just got another one of these to put on there. I had to stop around about 3 o'clock this morning. But uh, yeah, there's lots of little bits that need to go on. There's like little cleats that need to go on the side over here and there but I mean I built this kit about three or four times and uh, it is a lovely kit it just goes together so well uh, probably have to put a bit of putty in around this seam here and on along around there but other than that you know it's, it's tidy uh, I might put some green stuff across here and um, take a cocktail stick and just make a little weld seam just so that it looks the part and you've got a nice bit of texture on this part of the um, turret as well, which is pretty good. Quite impressed. For a 10 year old kit, it goes together lovely. And um, lots of little accessories to go on. So I'll put these boxes, got these other boxes at the top here, whatever these to carry on. I don't know. But um, absolutely loving it. Uh, when I finish painting this area and everything, I've got a little black and white photograph to put underneath here, which fits on there. Can't, yeah, there it is. It's a little photograph of the engine, so you know it's kind of looks. Can't really see it, but you can. But it, it looks something like that. It's just just so that you don't see an empty space of grey in there. But it's a lovely kit, gotta be fair, really enjoying it. I can't wait to put the primer on and get a glue on it. And then there's the arduous task of building the tracks. I don't mind building the tracks, it's quite therapeutic actually, in all fairness. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. So uh, I've practically done 80% of the build all in one night from about 8 o'clock in the evening up until about 2 in the morning. So, uh, quite impressed with, with myself on the uh, progress there. Got some work to do on the turret here, like I said, actually on the on the gun itself. I just need to smooth that over. And, um, yeah, she'd be good to go. Yeah, I'm happy the way it's turned out at the moment. Look, I mean, I've been using Tamiya Extra Thin, and uh, that just makes building your models so much easier. Can't fault the stuff, it's really good. I love it. Anyway, that's it. It was only a quick vid update on the um, Panzermeister 36's group build, and um, we shall see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and please remember to rate, comment, like, share, subscribe. It's all good. Thank you very much, everyone. And for all those in the UK, happy bank holiday. And the rest of the world, God bless.